NBA 2K25 is here, and so am I. What's good, everybody? It's All City Tron. And whoa, hold on now. You guys seen that move and that shot? You guys read the title correctly. Look at this rebound animation. This center build has 99 offensive rebound. And as you guys can see by the clips being shown, that's far from it. Yes, I got 99 offensive rebound, but I can protect the paint like no other. I can literally shoot lights out. With, look at this late contested it don't matter that's open that's green every single time decks the hell out of the center come back to the middle of the key it, it shoots lights out the rebound is ridiculous the vertical on this build is ridiculous you guys will have so much fun on this build you can literally use it in rec park pro-am 3v3 pro-am whatever you guys want to do proving grounds at the end of the day i know you guys will have a lot of fun on this build if you guys change anything please leave a comment down below let me know what did you guys change about it let me shut up, enjoy the music, enjoy the clips, and let's get to the video, y'all. Here's the attributes. We went with an 85 standing dunk. Why did I go with an 85 standing dunk? It's because when I reach starter 3, I'm going to use my plus 5 cat breaker on standing dunk so I can get this to 90, get rise up on gold, and be able to unlock all the big man contact dunks on this build. As for my dunk packages, it's very clear with the two foot moving dunks. I got the fist bump rim pulls and I also have the big man tomahawks off two. As for the one footers, I have the reverse big man, I have the athletic hangs off one. And I also have the big man side clutches off one, which is a pretty nice dunk package. I can't even lie as well with the pro standing big contact as well as Dwight Howard. Now, I don't have anything for this, but like I said in the attributes, as soon as I get my plus five cat breakers, I'm going to use it on my standing dunk and I am going to unlock a 90 standing dunk and I'm going to be able to unlock the rest of these contact dunks as well as the elite standing picks as well. I went with max style midi, three pointer and free throw might as well because if you're going to be dominant down low with contacts and you get and ones or fouled in general, you're going to be able to knock down every single free throw if you play pro-am or rec and of course if you play park you can take away the free throw and freestyle this build a little bit more to your liking now if you guys have made it this far into the video please don't forget to hit the like button leave a comment subscribe notifications on so you guys do not miss another video as well as a live stream yes y'all we go live almost every single day with multiple builds stay tuned here's the jump shot pj tucker is the base you got Harrow as upper release one. You got Kevin Durant as upper release two. Now, as for the visual cue, you're going to do just slightly a tick above push. And the blending is going to be 53% Kevin Durant. You get the 87 pass accuracy with the gold break starter. You get the 88 interior to be dominant in the paint and make sure you protect it. You're going to have the 84 block to get the paint patroller on silver. This is what this makes this build so goddamn beautiful. The 99 offensive rebound, the 84 defensive rebound automatically goes up because you go up to a 99. As well, I'm also going to show you guys what I did with my badge perks. My max plus one badge. For my tier one, you can do various things. I've started doing shot specialist on goal just to test it out. And I've noticed for sure that I'm definitely hitting more consistently at the three point line. Now, I don't know if it's because of the badge or maybe I'm more comfortable shooting with the shot that I have on. But if you don't want to do this, you can do paint and patroller and try it out on gold. You could do dead eye, do it on silver. You can do break star to do it on hall of fame. You could even do brick wall and put it on gold. There's so many different types of badges that you guys can go ahead and level up and try to see which one you like the most. As for tier two, high flying denier, that's probably the best one we're going to get. As for my badge elevator, I used it on rebound chaser and I was able to get it to Hall of Fame immediately and I was able to get it to legend right away as well as my maximum overdrive. This is what I got going on right now. Maxed out speed, maxed out strength, maxed out vertical. All right, y'all. The reason why I also went with 89 on the strength was because to save even more attributes to put it on other stuff as well because I really wanted to try to get a 99 offensive rebound while being able to get maxed out shooting and the standing dunk as well. Now you're gonna be like Tron, but you need a 91 strength to get gold brick wall. Yes, that's very true. But with the max plus one batch tier level, I'm able to upgrade this to a gold. So you're not only able to save attributes on your strength, you're still gonna be able to get gold brick wall because you use the maxed 
tier one badge upgrade remember that guys very important to remember and after you guys are done you guys are going to hit continue and the three shades are going to be jack sigma nikola Vucevic, trusif nurkic and the name of the build is going to be a two-way inside the arc maestro i hope you guys love this build as much as i do go absolutely insane and hey if you guys change the couple things about the build please let me know down below in the comment section and tell me i would love to know what you guys changed about it go crazy out there don't forget to hit the like button leave a comment subscribe notification is on we go live every single day don't miss a live stream especially an upload because we have a lot more build videos coming soon all right y'all hope to see you guys on the next one later y'all